Hi everybody, it's David here again. I just wanted to uh, show you a little trick on how you might like to monitor SaaS environments with a uh, Google Chrome plugin. It's something that I uh, I kind of just threw together and thought you might be interested in. So uh, how, how do you do this exactly? Well, luckily Elastic has a, a JavaScript APM agent. And so, you know, we can actually use that and incorporate it into a Google Chrome plugin and then we can actually monitor pretty much any website we go to from a front end perspective. So if you want to do this, I create a little example project over here in GitHub called Inject Elastic Agent, and I'll put the link below so you can have a little look at that. You'll see in here, there's a few files. There's uh, the Elastic APM agent here, which is this JavaScript file. And then the plugin is very, very simple. Just a few files here, right? So we've got a content.js script that essentially just retrieves the Elastic APM server URL from local storage and initializes the Elastic APM agent. The manifest file, which is uh, really the most important thing that you can can use for, for Chrome. Then you've got the uh, the options HTML and the options JS file, which enables you to configure the injector. So you wanna have a look at this, you can just, uh, just go to the URL that I put in the bottom here. And what you'll see is, is when you load it up, so what you need to do essentially is you go to uh, here in Chrome, you can click on extensions, click manage extensions. And then from here, you wanna click this button, load, unpack. But it's very important that you also have developer mode enabled over here. So you've got developer mode enabled, you can click load, unpacked, you can point it at the directory where the, uh, the Chrome plugin is extracted. It will read that manifest file and it will uh, bring it into Chrome here. Now, once you've brought it into Chrome, what you want to do is you want to click on the the button here, which is the the extension in the top right hand corner. And if it's not visible, it's probably not pinned. So you need to click on the puzzle piece and then pin it. And once you're in here, you can click options and add the Elastic Server URL in here. And that's quite easy to find. You go into Elastic and you've got APM enabled, you click services, you can click add data over here, and then you can find the URL. If you click on uh, rom.js here, you'll see the, the URL. Now the service name is automatically generated based on with the URL of the website you're visiting, right? So you go in here and then once you've installed the Chrome plugin, uh, anywhere you go, at least initially, it will generate a new service. So you can see I've been to Google Drive and I've been to Google Docs. And you can see in here that we've actually got some transactions created. Now you probably can restrict the websites that it operates on pretty easily. You click in the manifest file, you'll see that, you know, it's matching specific URL patterns in here. So you could easily change that to restrict it to a specific website. Anyway, give it a go. Let me know what you think um, and uh, see if you want to monitor certain websites like uh, Salesforce or Workday or SaaS applications using Elastic APM. This is uh, one little trick you can use to do it. Thanks, everybody.